ETH, we start with the daily chart. Okay, as we can see, based on daily chart, the price is uh, move, moving within this range. And now the question is, if we refer to the indicators, based on these two, we see this losing the momentum. Now the question is, can we expect the reversal or not? Okay, but what I want to see that I'm not looking for the reversal, maybe for the bigger correction, because even sometimes for the crypto, we have this kind of the move, the price can continue similar to what we have here, then sharply continue. Okay, now, I don't think the price this is the end of the move. That's mean we are not looking for the reversal, but if we want to look for buy, if we get any drop down similar to any of this, then from there we can look for buy, because we still we expecting within this as a channel, if you call it. Okay, anyway, we don't have any trade setup based on for daily chart, we move to forward chart. Based on forward chart, now we wanna see if we put our line, okay. If the price, whether from here or next, the price move a bit higher, if we get any down move, break out of this, then from there, we are more interested to buy, if you wanna look for buy. Okay, whether the price can drop from here or we get one move up before drop, then we will be more interested to buy, even if we put this one as a over channel. Okay, and now the thing is, how about if the price continue from here? I don't think we have a buy setup unless the price be trade based on this correction. And how about if the price continues similar to what we have here? We have this opportunity as well. But what I want to say if the price break come to this low, we will be really more interested to buy rather than buy at the top. Okay, anyway, we move to lower time frame. We see how we can trade based on lower time frame. Okay, uh, this is what we had this, what we explained based on forward chart. All right, now the things is based on one hour chart. Because as I explained based on forward chart, whether the price can drop from here or we get one move up before we get the down move. Okay, now based on one hour chart, can we put this one as a correction? In relative to this for the next move down then from there we get one move up that's mean if we want to look for buy if the price drop break this low or test this low if we get any buy within this range we take it why how about because i based on forward chart i mentioned how about if you, this is the correction for the next move up okay that's why if the price drop break this low or this, any buy within this, at least a sharp, a small flag, we take it. And as long as the price come to this level, we start to manage it. There is a continuation, we keep. If not, we take out the trade and let the then just wait for the next opportunity, okay? May the price, whether from here or after tagging this high, can drop again to break this low. This is where we are more interested to for buy. Okay, and if we get the buy within this range after the drop, this one we call it short term, but after our target will be here. But if we get the buy when the price come to this low, if there is a continuation, we keep it in case this is the start of the up move. Okay, but do we need to look for sell in, I mean, if we move to forward chart, if we consider we get any sell set off from here, it depends on the trader. So whether they're looking for sell or not for me, I'm not interested in the sell. I let if the, the the price drop, I let the price drop. I will be more interested in the buy. Anyway, we just follow the chart and see how we can trade it. If there is any opportunity, uh, then I will share on YouTube. Thanks.